Hey guys, uh, today has not been the best day. I woke up this morning at about 3 or 4 a.m. to the sound of children playing outside of my window. And when I say children, I mean multiple rice stout Honda Civics with pop and crackle tunes terrorizing the streets of Prague. So yeah, you know, children. I then left my hotel at around 11 o'clock to go sit at a train station for three and a half hours because, well, what else am I gonna do? And then I boarded my train for my eight hour train journey across Europe and about halfway through, well, guess what? There there's an engine failure. Guess the engine failure made it to where it can't complete the entire journey, so I had to go to a different train station and go to a completely different train that was not meant to connect to this train. And after running through a giant train station, I made it by maybe 20 seconds. All is good, all is fine. I get off the train, I'm at my destination home free, right? Well, almost, because I order an Uber, and about 25 minutes later, the Uber shows up, and when he gets out of the car, he looks at me and says, um, only one suitcase allowed. I look at him and say, um, what? And he says, only one suitcase allowed. And I said, um, no, both both suitcases allowed because I, I need them both. And we go back and forth on this for a few minutes. And finally he says, okay, you can have both suitcases. So I don't even, I don't really know what this guy's what this guy's angle was. Did he really expect me to just leave a suitcase behind? Like I, I don't even want to talk about it. Get to my hotel, and the oldest British man that's alive, gotta be, is checking in, in front of me. It takes about 20 minutes. I finally get to my hotel room and there's a fly. Which normally, you know, not a big deal. It's it's just a little fly, but to Today, whew, that fly is really getting to me, guys. But hey, all of that is behind us now. We're recording now, having a good time. Thank you for listening to me rant. Now, that might just be the longest intro I've ever recorded, so we're not going to waste any more time. Midnight snacks, mmm. That is the topic of today's video, a TikTok account that is putting out what might just be the worst cooking I've ever seen. Now look, I know you've heard it before, you've heard it a million times before, but this time it's different. When I tell you that these recipes are beyond anything you could ever imagine, I'm not joking. Now, we've seen crazy, disgusting recipes before, but where this TikTok account stands out is that somebody actually eats them all, and they really shouldn't. You'll see what I mean. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Welcome back to day seven of Midnight Snacks. Oh boy, I can't wait. Today on the menu, we have... I don't know. Boys and girls, I'd like you to go ahead and wage your bets as to what's in this smoothie in the comment section, because there's there's absolutely no way any of you will get it right. They're ready. I'm gonna say what might be a hot take, but hot take or not, I think it should really be considered. I think that boiling pizza rolls it should be something that sends you straight to federal prison. Like, I would be in favor of the government installing cameras into our kitchens just to make sure no one's doing this. Alright, so so far we've got pizza rolls that have been boiled, pomegranate juice, and mayonnaise. Uh, surely this cannot get any worse, right? Oh, how I wish that was the case. It's time to get the host. You just know that something horrendous has happened in a kitchen when a blended up popsicle stick is not even the worst thing in your smoothie. There's a certain poetic value about the extended periods of silence in this video. It really adds to the dread you feel knowing that this guy's about to drink this. 
All right, time for the taste test. <clears throat> wow, we zawa. That was really good. <laughs> I, I give that a seven pizza roll out of six pomegranate juice. Thank you. All right, question time. Money on the table. How much is it going to take for you guys to chug this entire smoothie? Be realistic now. This is a pretty, pretty sizable mug, and that's some pretty thick smoothie. You've got to think of the mental price you're going to pay. Welcome back to day 13 of Midnight Snacks. Oh boy, I can't wait. Today on the menu we have... Pie. Oh, uh, this poor soul. Thinks he might finally be getting a break with a nice pie. If only. Oh god, I'm having some serious flashbacks to Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad right now. Anytime I see yellow jello where it doesn't belong, I just can't help myself. The mind wanders. All right, I've got to hand it to him. That glove bit made me laugh a bit harder than it probably should. Also, um, what are we doing? Cream of mushroom, lemon jello, soy sauce, milk. I mean, wh what is this? Do you guys remember like in elementary school when you would mix a bunch of stuff together on your school lunch tray and try to get somebody to eat it? This is that, but just so much worse. <laughs> I know there's not a lot of saving this pie here, but I feel like you could have at least given it the decency to put it in the oven. Something about microwaving a pie like this just makes this ten times worse. I mean, what does microwaving jello do? Alrighty, time for the taste test. Wowie You know, I can't say for certain what this combination of food does to the human brain, but if you covered up this guy's face and just looked at the body language, you would think he was being waterboarded. So, uh, I can't imagine it's anything good. Welcome back to day 18 of Midnight Snacks. Oh boy, I can't wait. Today on the menu we have... Just about the worst looking... The best looking waffles I've ever seen. All right, so this last one has copyrighted music over the cooking portion, but I just couldn't not show you guys this. So we're starting off with some pancake mix. Nice little eggy, nice little flip onto the knife. Kind of impressive, not gonna lie. But then, um, that, the Pop-Tarts creamer, that's, that's not what you want to see when you're making a pancake of any sort. Not sure that I really buy in to the power drill idea, but hey, I mean, if it's efficient, it's efficient, right? Blueberry waffle, I mean, who doesn't like a blueberry waffle? It seems like we're getting to a really good place here. Then, then we start to remove the clams. The clams start to come out. And that's when you know, oh wait, oh wait, we're watching, we're watching these TikToks. So we are making a clam blueberry waffle, which, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, is, is not what I want to eat. And then you're forced to watch the creation of what might just be the most disgusting three ingredient sauce ever made. Sweet and sour sauce, blue cheese dressing, and fish oil. And you just know our friends in for a bad time. Alrighty, time for the taste test.
Wowie Zawa. That's really good. You know what, honestly, I kind of believe him. The man went in for a second bite, and he didn't look like he was being tortured, so maybe, maybe it's not too bad. Maybe clam pancakes need to become a thing. Well guys, what do you think? Out of the three dishes we have seen prepared today, which one would you be most inclined to try? For me, it's probably gonna be the pancake, because there's not too many bad things in there. Like, at least the pancake would probably be okay, you know, except for the clams. Everything else, there's just no redeeming quality. You've got nothing to bail you out. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it it's free it won't cost you anything but for now that's all i have for you today bye Subscribe.